Did you see like the footage of like in game footage of the PS5? No. Uh, wait, are you talking about the the Unity demo? No, nah, not Unity. It was uh, some chick that was like flying around. Unreal, like... un yeah, it was the Unreal the Unreal Engine demo. Oh. Yeah, I saw that. Hello, everyone. It wasn't I'm PS5 Jason gameplay. It was the Unreal Sucker Engine demo. We have a lot to show you today about Ghost of Tsushima, combat, customization, special modes, <gasps> customization. customization. Let's take a look at how you explore. Hey, stop the being world the same as me. <laughs> Hey, you know I'm so hyped for this game, bro. Bro, make... I need to see a hood. I'm not saying nothing until I see a hood. Oh, HUD? The heads-up display? Yeah, I'm not saying anything. I was like, HUD, this ain't Assassin's Creed. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> bro, is this how this game's gonna look? Oh! Dude. You saw the show, you saw the save in the top right? Open world design since the very beginning. No, I don't see nothing top right. It was there, I was saying saving. Don't have curiosity. So we've continually asked ourselves, how can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? Do it, jump, leap of faith. <laughs> Impossible. Oh, nice. That's a cool looking map. Looks like ink. Like a traditional... Where the fuck are they from? Japan. Yeah, I was gonna say that, but I don't want to seem like an idiot. Oh, it's like a hidden HUD. I'm like a, uh, what do they call that? Uh, like a dynamic HUD. I like that. Oh. So, oh, you're going in the wrong direction! Oh, the wind guides you! Huh. Oh, follow the wind, my son. Nobu, come! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Is it really oh, just gonna be a game go. with no HUD? Cause I think well, this might be in-game footage right here. Like, no, de yeah, definitely. This looks like it's legit, like a mission or something. Dude, Dude the colors. <laughs> that man. looks so beautiful. Christine Hills. Oh my God, it's so awesome. Call a gust of wind at any time to point Gusta you. To See. That's awesome! So there's no map? Like a uh, mini map? That's pretty cool. Thank god. Something new. Okay. AC Odyssey uh, loot wood mechanic. I feel it. He's got the bamboo, <laughs> you know, animal protein. Animal protein. Animal protein. <laughs> what the hell? What's going on there? I don't know. Yeah, I got that for this. Yeah, I got that. Oh, you can just bamboo. grab it on the- I'll just go walk it by. I wonder what the- what you yeah, use yeah. bamboo for. Probably make arrows? Crafting? Maybe? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, crafting? But imagine a bamboo sword? <laughs> Mongol territory, you arrived right there. You're... take you to all kinds what? of locations in the game. Like Rescue the, the hostages? Taken over by the Mongols. It can also take you to your next big story moments, or even help you find rare collectibles. But what about the things that you don't know about, that you haven't seen yet, that you don't know exist? Keep your eyes peeled for other visual cues. Smokestacks on the horizons, interesting and odd-shaped trees, or maybe even animals trying what? to get your attention. Quickly, Nobu. So that okay, gust of Nobu. So that gust of wind that we saw on the mountain, that, that's people that need help. Right there, that wind right there? Or that huh. air, like the freaking fog right there? The smoke? Yeah. I, Pete, that's, that's signaling that people need help. Uh -huh. That's crazy. It's like... That's some immersive stuff, because you got to actually pay attention to your environment. What? Well, that's kind of like how Red Dead Redemption was. Like, you could look at a smoke like thing, and it would be like someone's camp. Yeah. Stay away, my lord. Yeah, just like this. The spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest. Samurai. That's cool, Nobu. Oh, different types of woods. That's cool. Bro, are we crafting? Are we building? We'll be building. We're crafting, bro. We're, we're, we're building. We'll make a house. That cape is nice, dude. You know, just ignore the supplies. Cool. Oh, 
Why don't you grab it the first time, man? 13 supplies. So what the hell are supplies? Like, what kind of supplies are we talking about? <laughs> okay, just jump. Show them how, how to do it. Fox den. Fox will guide Jin to hidden shrines across the island. What? Yo, just imagine every, every animal that you follow like gives you like a different type of location or, or uh, objective. Yeah. Like fox are hidden shrine, birds are in... What the hell? Under the shrine, there's a dead person right behind us, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that do? Give you like experience or something? Yeah, I think so. Minor charm slot too? So maybe... It gives you oh, a, an ability. It gives yeah. you like an ability slot. Nice. That's dope. Ooh, there's fast travel. Tsushima is rich with exploration and discovery. Wooden Summit Shrine. Whether you're just following a string of Tori gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just a fox trying to show you something hidden in the woods. That's adorable. Either way, oh. bring your sense of adventure and let the wind guide you. It seems like there's a lot of stuff to do. Like, everywhere you go, there's something to do. Yeah. Hey, yo, they better relax. That hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. What? That looks awesome. Pillar of Honor. Now that's a pillar I want to go to. What? That looks beautiful, dude. How big is this place? This whole game. Oh my god. He's what? playing the flute. <laughs> <laughs> That's in game too, cause you see how like it looks so like 60 FPS. You saw it. Oh, yeah. that was. Oh it. Hi. shit! This is Nate Fox. Yo, he's Second got a Watch. whole legit fucking outfit on. Now we just showed you some exploration, but let's switch gears and check Dude. out some combat. That fucking outfit. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Bro, imagine you got a, the next slide was like Jin the Ninja or some shit, or like Jin the Shinobi. Oh. If you've ever seen a samurai movie, you know what to expect. Two warriors oh, that was sizing loud. each other up, waiting for the other to make the first move. Fight me. Huh? <laughs> what? No. What? You can have a one-on-one -on -one battle while they stand by and they respect it? No way! Oh! There it is, the hood! Oh, it turns into a letterbox! So cinematic! Oh! Dude, when you fight, it turns into a freaking movie! <laughs> I like how you, like, flick the blood on the floor. Oh As you can God. see, the Mongols Dude, are that walk, everywhere bro. on this island. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real skillful precision in fighting them. No <laughs> wasted energy. Every strike must count. Oh! Oh! Nice. Oh! No way! Oh my god. Oh, he was like mourning his friend. That was cool. Oh! Oh, is he, he lost his arm! Or his head at least up to his elbow, you saw that? Yeah. The arrow like flails, that's cool. Oh! <laughs> oh, I like that death animation. Yo, I wonder if there's like stamina, because he said like no wasted energy. Yeah. Oh, they just yeah. honor him? Yo, that was so cool. Jin, Jin the, the ghost. ghost! You're right. <laughs> Yo. Oh. The way he bowed, bro. Okay, so that was Jin fighting as a samurai. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the dishonorable ghost. Oh, as the ghost, he'll use so there's every choice. dirty trick he can think of. Oh, no up. way, there's choices that he can- Oh! fear as a weapon. He just turned into Batman! <laughs> oh. 
Oh. I like how the music is different too. Yo, that that oh. draw animation, how his elbow like comes ah, high. Damn and that dude flew. Rest. Yeah. That was nice. Yo, imagine you can like alert the horses so they make noise and they draw them to them. I wonder why that's uh, shimmering like that. The little like lamp, you see that? The lamp? I wonder if you could interact with that. You say chain assassination? Yeah. I love that. You get a chain assassination together. See those like little hanging things? They're, they're like shimmering or like. Gotcha. I don't know what you call that. Slaughter. Slaughter. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Critical. Oh, that's nice. Cause he's armored. That's awesome. Whoa. My spotted oh, used Kuda for quick attack. Yo, he's all freaked oh. out. Oh shit. We'll learn. F Mongols will learn to fear the ghost. Oh. Oh my god, dude. Can't wait for the photo mode, dude. Dude, don't even get me started. Oh, we got a crop rock! I love that animation. Oh my gosh, I love like the longer you pull it back, the more it zooms in. Yo, is he about to cut that down? Oh no, he was. That's crazy, because if you're a samurai, you have to fight all those people, but as the ghost, you're just cruising right by. So efficient. Oh my god! Just put a blade into his fucking- Wait, 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 what did that say? No, 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 before that. It was like an option that popped up, but you couldn't. Oh, okay. Oh, you can scavenge his arrows! These are Mongols' own weapons against them? Oh, damn. So he's gonna blow the boat up? Oh, shit. Damn. Nice. <laughs> Customizing yeah. gin. We'll see how this works. Oh no way! That's what it looks. You're customizing it. Fighting as the samurai, Yo. or sneaking around as the ghost, Jin had on a different set of armor. That's because the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical advantages. Whoa! It's not just the way it looks. It helps accent your chosen playstyle. Okay. As you explore the world, you'll discover Omamori charms. They'll give you an edge in battle. Ha, I get it. More importantly, as your legend grows, you'll develop all new techniques which transform Jin from a samurai into the ghost. But the thing is, you get to decide how those techniques evolve and grow what? over time. I think you could like add it's like special attributes to your abilities. For dye flowers. Find enough of them and you can change the color of an armor. So not only do you get to choose Damn, how the so ghost Minecraft legit. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but you can fine tune the look as dude. well. Dude. Cause you you said, remember the smoke bomb that he did earlier? Yeah. If you find one of those charms or whatever, you can make it every time you do that you get health from it. Huh. Yes! Oh, no, sir! Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be a sucker punch game if it didn't have photo mode. In our new photo mode, we have features such Yo, as color grading, that's depth of field, so you can yes, on depth of right field. Objects. We have a bunch of new features. Dude, depth of field is like literally my favorite thing to do in photo mode. Movement that's so <laughs> great about our game. You can control the wind's direction, the speed. You can change what? out the particles to different types of leaves and fireflies. 
Oh, so you could put the fireflies around you? The music from our original score that might be a little bit more fitting. So if you're into doing a photo, or maybe you actually want to do a video, there's something here for you. Here's a few that I've created. Wow. That's awesome. Dude, the one on the bottom right is... Oh, all of them are noise. Japanese voice track? A Japanese voice track option with subtitles is a perfect fit for our game. So I'm happy to That's say what I'm that doing. before the first scene even starts, you'll be able to turn this option on. Oh, samurai -sama no tatakai kata janai. I was not expecting him to sound like that. Oh, samurai dokoro janai yo. Kono o kata wa mouko o uchi horobosu tame. Samurai what? cinema? Uh oh, is this gonna be like too legit to quit? Oh no way! What? Dude. Black and white, bro. What? Here at Sucker Punch, we are huge fans of samurai cinema. We wanted to create a way for you Dude. to feel like you're playing your favorite samurai movie. So we created a windy, <laughs> black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on from the very beginning of the game. Dude. Like, this is awesome, but then I'd feel kind of bad because just how beautiful the color palette is. Yeah, true. I wonder how they felt about like This is too legit. Do it. Oh. I love that. Dude, the hood is so simple and minimalistic. It's perfect. Oh, 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 Ghost of Tsushima, here we come. You know who I feel like would really like this game? Who? Today, we've shared Quentin. with you some of the unique Quentin? ways you can explore the island of Tsushima. Quentin Tarantino, bro. I know who he is. I saw that samurai. ending part, bro, he'd be like, oh, is it? I gotta make a PlayStation. I gotta make a samurai <laughs> movie. Gin, or play in special ways. Dude. Oh we my have gosh. so much more to show you in the future. Show me. Ghost of Sushi no, comes out don't wait July until 7th. now. Yesterday you said Thank tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you later. <laughs> Just leak it. Dude, that's so dope. Like, there's more than one way to play. Everybody's about to have a, such a unique gameplay. Yeah, it's not just the play style, but like the way that it's approached too, the freaking the film green, the photo mode, the cinematic mode, whatever it is. Having like, English or Japanese. Yeah. Oh, this should have been what the first state of play should have been like, not the freaking VR. For real. Check to see if there's any other state of play stuff. Yeah, look, Ghost of Tsushima state of play, I'm pretty sure that state of play was dedicated to Ghost of Tsushima. Maybe Ghost of Tsushima just freaking crashed YouTube, bro. <laughs> dude, imagine. Yeah, dude. YouTube's down. Bro, we're here to make history, dude. YouTube's down, ladies and gentlemen. Give us a million views. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Any, 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 uh, any, uh, thoughts on this? Final thoughts? Uh, other than Ghost of Tsushima breaking YouTube, yeah, um, <laughs> literally. I I think it was I think it was exactly, you know, everything that I hoped it would be. Um, part of me I wouldn't say isn't disappointed, but part of me, uh, so like, it always looked like too good to be true, mm -hmm. but now seeing the actual gameplay and seeing that it's it's legit. Um, and seeing, because like there's certain elements, like, like, again, like I'm playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And so like that, that mechanic of like picking up the wood while you're riding on your horse or even just traveling the world is, is a feature, uh, you know, heavy in, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So seeing little mechanics like that, that show you that it is a legit game. Yeah. Um, like I say, it doesn't, it doesn't disappoint me. Like the game still looks awesome, but part of me is like, um, 
I, I feel like they could have done something more, like with the wind. Like how, that's a mechanic I've never seen before. So yeah. I feel like they could have done something a little bit more original and creative um, with some of those mechanics, uh, just so that they don't feel so so much like a game. Like that you you know you're playing a game. Those mechanics felt more like you're living in a world, not playing a game. You know what I mean? Like that's that's what I'm trying to say. It, it's kind of hard to explain, but. There's very game esque aspects that you saw in that, and I feel like with the world that they've created and, and how like they're trying to showcase how much of a world it is that you could live in and interact with, mm -hmm. I felt they could have more creatively, you know, showcased stuff like that. that... So is it like, oh, you go ahead. Or are you? No, I'm pretty much done. So are you saying like like in the mechanics that like that could make the game more immersive and like kind of took you out of it where it was like they could have done it a little bit differently yeah so like that's what i'm saying is like is that one uh in particular was was the one that stuck out the most to me um was the one where he was riding and he he was able to loot the bamboo um and and the other wood that was uh right before that little hut um like that's since i'm playing assassin's creed odyssey and that's that's also a mechanic in that game that's like featured heavily it it's like there's a level of like um uh it's not as original and and it's mm -hmm. it, it feels very much like a video game but with certain element it, so what i'm trying to say is that it's very contradictory like they're showing how you could pretty much play it like it's a movie with the um film grain and the black and white and but if you're playing it and then you come across that mechanic it's going to take you out of that immersion you know what i mean because yeah. now it feels like a video game again but if you were to be playing it and and they're doing certain things with the wind and following the fox and doing certain things like i, I feel like that'll add to that immersion but then you come across certain things that oh, okay yeah this is a video game you know what i mean yeah i mean maybe like it it ruins the pace because i would kind of like be lame like like what if they made it like we should make this more immersive and like you'd have to stop get out your horse and watch a whole animation of them picking up the bamboo or whatever um yeah but then again it's like do we do we really need the bamboo maybe that's the part they didn't show uh too much in depth that's the part that we'll need to find out is like how that bamboo how those uh remember the what was it the, the items the 13 items that he picked up the 13 yeah. uh 13, how uh, those supplies. Play into, 13 supply yeah how those play into a crafting system or whatever yeah how much um, each item requires exactly um but yeah i think i think from what they've showed it's it's exactly what i would have hoped for out of that game mm -hmm. so definitely i mean yeah uh, they said they have more to show so we're not entirely there yeah there's still more to go based off of before you can make a final decision on our final opinion on it and we still no, have to no, play no. the game but yeah, no, I'm I'm not saying like like that's my final thoughts. I'm no, I'm not saying, saying you are. I'm just saying like it's a good thing yeah. we got more stuff because it's not your final answer. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, no, definitely. I like I was saying the all of the stuff that we've been seeing, like especially with the whole controversy that just happened with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, where like they Xbox uh, had announced that we were going to be getting this you know gameplay first look, and then what we did get wasn't even really a gameplay first look where the wording was, you know, weird. It was more of like a game engine first look, like mm -hmm. seeing the game world, not so much gameplay. Um, so a lot of stuff like that, a lot of marketing and a lot of stuff that's been going on, a lot of delays, like everything's just been feeling like very unfulfilling and, you know, nail-bitingly, you know, anticipation. Um, and so to get this felt very much like, we're finally being rewarded for our patience, you know? Mm hmm Yeah. So. I mean, like, the smallest thing for me that I'm so glad, I'm glad they don't have, like, a, like, a over, overbearing curve, but there's just, like, too much stuff going on, taking away from the combat and what's actually going on. It was very simple, was straight to the point. That was the thing I was worried about. I'm like, yeah, this combat looks amazing, but is the hood going to be obstructing? Is there going to be too much flashy stuff going on the screen, or is it going to be all about the combat, you know? Yeah. Which no, I, I think... I think even even if there, you know, is a lot going on on screen, I think it was the the um, the subtleties that really made the combat shine. Like uh, when they explain the the fear, like that Mongol that like 
doubled back and fell over and was like trying to back away from Jin and Jin just executed him or like how we noticed with the last one that he killed he like bowed like even if there was a lot of obstruction going on I think it it helps having those subtle nuances that if you're really paying attention um just show you like the the amount of detail that you you have to pay attention to yeah and it's crazy too because like the during the ghost gen gameplay he's called dishonor boy and at the end when he was done he didn't he didn't honor anybody yeah he just got in and got out yeah so i i definitely enjoy that and i was wondering i think um i think me and one of my subscribers were talking about it uh about that is 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 his transition to ghost going to be story driven or is it going to be choice driven like like with the infamous franchise uh because mm-hmm. sucker punch did infamous and how you could either be like the you know superhero or you could be like kind of like a a, a bad guy um and help people or you know lead them be and and your choice is really affected like your your uh persona and how they how the game played out um, so I was wondering if they were going to do that with this game, and, and it kind of looks like they're showing that. Like you could, you could let the sort of um, things that are going on affect you and change you as a person and, and how you approach your situations. I don't know if it'll affect the ending, like if maybe Jin turns into like a dark person, because it, it it seems like his his motivations are still the same, but yeah. it's just how he's handling them. I mean. If you're taking two very different like approaches and like you you have two very different reputations, there's bound to have like two separate well, endings. But but that's the thing is it's 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 two very different approaches, but with the same end result. Yeah. So it's like how does that? The, either way, those Mongols are gonna die. But it's just the way that you again you, you're taking a dishonorable approach by you know um, killing them without facing them as a man, you know, just assassinating them using sort of fear tactics that, you know, samurai look down upon, or you could choose to be like a samurai, but does that affect you the same way it would an infamous, like an infamous, it was, it was night and day. You were either like a really bad person or you were a really good person. And that affected your ending and, and how it molded the game. But this, it just seems like you could just approach it differently, but still get the same end result. Like either way, that shipyard was going to be destroyed. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that that's what I'm curious to see, and 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 uh, maybe that's something that they withheld from us just so that we experience it for ourselves. Yeah, or maybe they maybe they probably maybe they will, or maybe they won't explain how the two how how the two how did like how do you go from either samurai or ghost? You know, they didn't really talk about how you went for that. Maybe they're holding that holding that in because maybe because what if the how you transition between the two like kind of gives you an idea of like how the game's gonna end yeah yeah no i think it was just enough to to show us and intrigue us and keep us you know uh excited about the game so that again like they withheld enough that we we still need to explore and, and find ourselves and i really enjoy that yeah i mean i've I lost my train of thought real quick. I was like, oh, I got something. And then when it was my turn, I was like, oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could probably, we could probably call right there unless you have more to say because I don't want to say anything stupid because I'm trying to think and it just left my head. No, that, that's pretty much all I have to say. It'll it'll really just be, uh, again, the final thoughts will have to come once we have the end product, you know, in our hands, <laughs> you know, we're actually able to play it and, experience it um and i'm so happy that it's, it's not too far away it's what now two months away because because it switched with last of us like last of us was supposed to come out i want to say may or whatever it's not supposed to come out in june what whatever like last of us last of us now is i think it's supposed to come out june but ghost of tsushima just got pushed back like a couple weeks to july oh, so it's not, that, it's not that it's not that huh how i don't want to compete with last of us well, that's the thing is like The Last of Us and Ghost of Tsushima come out like a couple of weeks from each other. So that's where I and I I'm pretty sure it's not so much about competition anymore. I think it's just PlayStation just wants to get those last two big titles out before they start unveiling um the PlayStation 5 yeah. because they know they probably know if they if they were to to hold them hold on to them too long that people probably wouldn't just lose interest probably, they probably wouldn't purchase them day one they probably wait 
for the PlayStation 5. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, because... So it's just that last hurrah for the PlayStation 4 until we get that huge dump of information for the PlayStation 5. We get the showcase, we get, you know, details, the controller in action, like all that type of stuff after Ghost of Tsushima and Last of Us come out. Yeah, get those get those two big blockbuster titles out so you think, so now after those two are gone, now we can uh, have everybody focus on the new system that's coming. Yeah, because that's the... That's the only thing I know for PlayStation, like as an exclusive, that's supposed to come out this year. They just got Final Fantasy VII out, um, so there aren't any other exclusives other than Ghost of Tsushima and The Last of Us that I can think of. The only other big title that's supposed to be coming out this year, other than that, is Cyberpunk, but that's an all-platform title. This is that's so, this year? I thought it was next year. No, that's this year. That's going to be uh, I want to say September, November. Like somewhere around then. I yeah. Forgot. I mean, maybe they won't. I don't know when they would start talking about because I wonder if they would want to talk about the PS5 either before or after Cyberpunk comes out. Or if it would even matter. It, it probably wouldn't even matter because uh, Cyberpunk has already talked about for the Xbox Series X, it won't launch with Xbox Series X. Like their next gen version of Cyberpunk, it'll come afterwards. So they're going to have a next gen version for the, for yeah. the Cyberpunk? I think I think that would carry over to PS5. Like the next gen version of Cyberpunk won't launch with PS5. It'll it'll come shortly after. Mm. So I, I think that has nothing to do with PS5 and Sony. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Whew. Dang! Imagine releasing a trailer for a game, and then it crashes a whole platform. <laughs> Not a trailer, I, think, I think I think that'll be a thumbnail for for my uh, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? Hmm. My video, I guess, like kind of showcasing my thoughts on this because I, I want to do a separate video now. Just I feel like I have to, like I'm obligated to. So my my video will probably be like the video, like I don't something know about why you like, haven't even started writing a script yet. <laughs> huh? I don't know why you haven't started writing a script yet. I bro, mean, what are you talking about? I'm broke... writing it like as we speak. Shut the fuck up. It literally broke the it literally broke the internet. Like they could literally be your title. Like Ghost of Shima literally broke the internet. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I'll probably uh start writing the script shortly after we conclude this and uh have it uploaded maybe as early as tonight or tomorrow. Tonight, I agree. Yeah. You might as well, right. like the thing literally came out today. Well, but the thing is, like, will I be able to upload it with what's going on right now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? How, how, quick, how quick is YouTube going to get back up? Bro, by the time you finish your script and you render out that video the second, you, YouTube's going to be like, all right, let's get it. Yeah, it will be like, all right, profit's ready. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll, I'll, I'll just tell YouTube, like, next time they need to stay hydrated. You know, And just mean? took an entire platform to go down for profit to start uploading again. Really, you know, the pandemic wasn't enough. Platforming wasn't enough. Freaking Last of Us Two gameplay tr- story trailer that was trash coming out wasn't enough. And then Ghost of Tsushima broke the internet. That's what we needed. All that combined, not just Ghost of Tsushima alone. All of that. Yeah. Dude, yeah, exactly. Fuck that story trailer from Last of Us. It wasn't even a story trailer. I, like I say, the only thing that was interesting was the. I, I still don't even remember her name, but it's the character from the the fireflies she was the the leader she, yeah so i guess she's back because that sounded like her at the end didn't she get shot in the freaking man i have no idea it, it i think it was one of those like movie deaths where like it showed you didn't see her die joel, yeah it showed joel like pointing I, I don't remember how it happened but after i heard her voice it made more sense because i thought ah oh, dude it's it's the movie rule where like if you don't see him die they're probably not dead so <laughs> Yeah. I need to make some videos about the Resident Evil movies because that's where it's prevalent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I even caught him like, yo, we didn't see him die though. And then at the end of the movie, hey. Yeah, we still need to watch that one, dude. The one that I told you was. But it's favorite. on Netflix. Yeah, we could probably like do some like. Uh, oh, dude, we know. could do that. We could definitely do that. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Totally legal. <laughs> Some GTA stuff, you know. Is that Saki? Yeah. You're like a little Saki. bitch. 
I was just about to say that a little bit. <laughs> it does. Like, how, like, I don't think you guys understand how big Prophet's dog is. It does not need to be sounding like that. <laughs> Isn't it a guy, dude. too? Yeah, dude. That Grandpa Polly says that all the time. Like, he sounds like a little bitch every time he does that. Because <laughs> he'll do that, like, when if he's outside too long and he wants to come inside or, like, if he wants to get fed. Like, when he barks, he barks. He barks like he... he like how he looks like he should bark or how he yeah i think i'm saying that right but yeah. when he does that whimper yeah he sounds like a little fucking like yeah <laughs> like a little fucking yeah <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> oh, bitch <laughs> <laughs> okay i need to wipe my nose this is a good part to end it all right for sure all right thank you guys so much for watching damn that thing was an 18 minute thing and we started talking for a whole 43 minutes well, it was a lot to unpack and and talk about. There was so True. much going on. It wasn't just like the last the things that they've shown where they showed just straight gameplay and they didn't show the customization and gameplay options and all that stuff. Like they showed a lot in this. Yeah, true, 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 true. All right, this booger's annoying me. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys check out other videos. Check out Prophet's channel. He's going to be uploading a video tonight. Tonight! Hope you guys enjoy my chance. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.